to Stormy Dates Day. I know, I love it. I think I said we should have a tornado drill to, to scare people. To like, yeah. we need to have our shelter and then and people be like, oh, is it a real tornado? Remember when that power went off at school? That was scary. Yeah, there's been a couple times that we like had to go to shelter because it was so bad. We had to stay over. We had to stay over. I bet I was here. So yeah. Yeah. I remember two people were so mad. Yeah, that's scary. All right. So let's get through this really quickly so you can get your homework done. But you could separate this into this inequality, negative 5 is less than 3x minus 2, and then you could separate into this inequality, 3x minus 2 is less than 1, and solve both of them. But remember that you can also just solve it all at once. Right? If you get x by itself, I'm going to add 2, but you have to add 2 on both sides of your inequality. So we're going to add 2 over here and add 2 over here. So you can solve it all at once. And then to solve for x, I'm going to divide by 3. But again, you have to divide both sides, the outside, by 3. If you divide or multiply by a negative, you do need to flip your signs. But in this one, we didn't. So I get negative 1 is less than x, which is less than 1. And remember, you, knew, you do need to write these in uh, interval notation or set notation. Um, and interval notation isn't really that bad, especially right like this. I know it's going from negative 1 to 1. Are those going to be brackets or parentheses? Those are not included. And if you were going to graph this, which I guess the homework does tell you to graph it, from negative 1 to 1, you're just going to put parentheses on the chart, and you're going to shade what's in between. That's good times, right? I would feel all the way There's not much harder today, but some fraction stuff, maybe one. Let's see. I think I only have like two more examples. Oh. It's really short today. I was doing these yesterday and I was like, why didn't I do this all in one day? But that's okay. Uh, just we could have, I probably should have just done it all in one day because we could have reviewed today, taking a quiz tomorrow. But now we're going to review tomorrow and take a quiz on Tuesday. Because Monday is the team trip. So for those of you that are here, we'll just like go over the review in class and what questions you have and stuff. But we won't really do much on Monday. Unless you just really want to take your quiz on Monday. But then what would you do on Tuesday? No, that, yeah. Um, what about this? What would be the first thing I could do on this one? Yeah, let's multiply everything by 2, because that's going to cancel out that fraction. And I get negative 2 is less than or equal to 3 minus 5x is less than or equal to 18. Right, because when I multiply the top by 2 and it's already divided by 2, it cancels out that 2 and it's gone, which is why we do it. So the 2 has gone after that. There's nothing to multiply the top by. Then I'm going to subtract 3 to the positive 3. And I get negative 5 is less than or equal to negative 5x, which is less than or equal to 15. And then we're going to divide by negative 5. But when we divide by a negative, we do have to flip our signs. So that becomes 1 is greater than or equal to x, which is greater than or equal to negative 3. And notice why we switched it is now the smaller numbers on this side and the bigger numbers on that side. So when you write your interval, um, remember, your interval, you want the lowest number to the left and the biggest number to the right. So we're not going to write 1 to negative 3. You're going to write from negative 3 to 1, right, smallest to biggest, and 
those are both included, so we would do brackets on that. That makes sense? Set notation? Set notation, we would need to do like delay on that. If you, if you don't put the squiggles there and that, then it's not set notation. You have to either write it like that or like that. Okay. All right? And if we graph that from negative 3 to 1, it is everything in the middle. I don't know, three or four. It's very short. Squiggly? No. They're really called brackets, but when most people think of brackets, they do this. But this is also a bracket. Sometimes it's called braces instead of brackets. But I just call them squiggles. Yeah, it took me a while. I was in college before I did it. I, I used to just feel like I did this on my paper. Like, but is this like... What about this? I find this to be a very weird problem. Right, like if, if we were going to solve this, I would say we should multiply both sides by 4x minus 1, but then we should put 0 on the other side. And I would say this doesn't work. But the book says since the reciprocal property. The book says because the reciprocal property states that if 1 over a is greater than 0, then that implies that a is greater than 0. Kind of weird property, right? That says, no, but that's a property. It says if 1 over a is greater than 0, then that means a is also greater than 0. So the book says to, to do this, we kind of just ignore this, and we just rewrite this problem as 4x minus 1 is greater than 0. Like we're using the reciprocal property. Isn't that hard as homework gets, which isn't even hard because you just have to know to just kind of ignore it. Right? Yeah, that's it. That's all the notes, I think. <laughs> this uh, is the last section we're going to do before we have another quiz. So tomorrow we will just do a review. Uh, then next week we'll come back tomorrow with quiz. I don't think that's a bad thing. It would be a nice thing to come back to without having to learn new stuff when you come back and you're tired. So, um, and then we have 
two seconds left. One fifty one seven. Um, and uh, then we'll have our big first in the test. So we'll do that right before fall break. Multiples of three and 123, uh, and you have 